Hi, I'm Dan. I'm the head of Historian Romanis. For this year, we're throwing on some Roman kit and we're bringing Clash of Romans. It involves lots of Romans, unsurprisingly, and it does involve quite a lot of clashing. <laughs> training and it involves quite a grueling schedule I mean it can be up to sort of four or five hours mostly combat orientated but there's other bits as well like showmanship because it's no good hitting each other if it doesn't look like it really hurts they're aiming to strike hard enough to leave a lovely bruise and have to react accordingly to how powerful that was the only way to get that is to go out into a field with sticks and get yourself bruised So the basis of the event is two groups of auxiliaries training against each other and it's truly competitive. It isn't we've scripted it and discussed it. We do a competition first with javelins. So we throw javelins at each other's team. Hits on shield, hits on people, counts points. It's great fun for us and the audience love it. So it's very much competition. Sport is the best way to explain it. It's a lot of fun and we thoroughly enjoy putting on the display for people. There's quite a lot of hitting each other, quite a lot of knocking people over. And we use wooden gladii because we try not to kill each other too much. This allows us to be a bit more free in the combat because we can give each other a bit more of a wallet. Uh, shield bashing and kicking is allowed. Safely done, of course. We allow bashing to the ground, which makes the combat look <laughs> very visceral. It's not just a sense of they're seeing a battle, they're really seeing guys really try and hit each other so they get a real sense of what a soldier's training would have looked like all that time ago. As a combatant, it's a, it's a hell of a lot of fun. The buzz you get from the audience as well as just being a spectator, that everyone's on the edge of their seats just waiting for that initial impact of one team smashing into the other. And once it happens, it's just an uproar of cheers. And it's amazing. It's one of those things you have to be there to be able to feel and experience what it's actually like.